Hello everyone, we're going to make a volume calculator as part of our project. project. Um, I call this my first volume calculator. Maybe you've made volume calculators before, but this was the first time I have made one. Um, so I'll show you how this works. Um, I'll show you how it works first, then I'm going to start from scratch and uh, build it. And I'll build one of them, and then you can build the other two. So. Uh, first off, it says press C for cylinder. So this is how it works. I press C. I have to click on it first. C. And it asks me for the radius. So I'll go ahead and put uh, 1. Click uh, height. We'll say 1. And it gives me the volume 3.142. Okay. Um, so that's right. Pi r squared times the height is the volume of the cylinder. So pi times 1 squared times 1 would be just pi, and that's 3.14. So that checks out. And if you hit O, it'll ask for the radius again. So let's say I'll do 1, and I'll hide 1. And there, 1.04, that's uh, 1 third of pi r squared, uh, 1 third of the base times the height, area of the base times the height. So uh, that looks like it's right. 1 third of 3 would be. 3.14 would be that. Okay, and then hemisphere. And there, it, you only need the radius, right? And it gives you the volume. So I'll show you how to do. Uh, I'll show you how to do the cylinder. Then you have to build the other two. Okay, so I will go to create. The way you open it, just go to scratch.mit.edu and go to create and we'll start you out with a blank project uh, with his little cat and he's a sprite but I'm going to get rid of him, delete and now what I want to do is let me let me show you on paper first uh, what it is that I'm going to do so let's uh, flip this around is that right? okay so I want to find the volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times h, right, where I need to give the radius and the height, and then I need to multiply it out. And the approximation for pi we're going to use is 3.1415. So that number times r times another r times h. And this is what I want the computer to do for me. Uh, for a cone, said it's one-third um, the area of a cylinder that has the same dimensions, right? So one-third pi r squared h. So for one-third, you could do one uh, divided by three times 3.1415. So these would be things that we put in to the computer. And it's going to be times r times r times h. And for the hemisphere, uh, we do two thirds pi r cubed. So we do two divided by three times and times three point one four and five times r times r times r. All right. So this is what we need to put into the computer. Um, now let's jump over to that. All right. So the first thing I want to do is make a backdrop, make it a little bit more interesting. So let's go to, to click on the tab for backdrop and text. And you put in here, click anywhere and say my first uh, volume calculator. And then I can change colors. I can, you know, give the maybe a new color. And press C for cylinder. And I'll just do abbreviations. But you, I want you to make this as creative as you want to make it. And you can draw pictures. Oops. Select. Oh no. 
Sometimes this happens, so I'll just delete it. Right. Okay, now that I got my backdrop straightened out and uh, have some text on there, you can uh, put in there whatever you want. You can draw pictures and have fun with it. Okay, so now that I have my backdrop made, I'm going to do some scripts. So first thing I need to do is make those variables. I need to make the radius, the height, and the volume. So I'm going to make a variable under data and let's say here radius. Okay. And make another variable. Height. Okay. Make another variable. Volume. Okay. Enter. Okay, there it is. All right, so what I want to do is see how the, these showed up here. These are the, the variables I just made, and they show up on the screen like this. I'm going to drag them to the middle so that they're right front and center. And what I want to do is each time that they press C or press H or press O, I want them to disappear and then show up as they enter them in. So the way that I would do that is hide variable and when they press C so that's an event they're gonna press when blank is pressed now I'm gonna change this to C uh, so when C key is pressed hide variable volume and I can just right click and duplicate and right click and duplicate so it's gonna hide the volume the radius and the height so let's just test that out. Let's have them. Yep, see it may disappear. Okay, but I'm gonna want to bring them back after they answer for me what the radius is. So I go to sensing, ask, and wait. So the stock question that they have is what is your name? But we want to change that to radius question mark. And it's gonna ask and wait, and then it's gonna give an answer, and we're gonna store that as the radius. So we go set to, so we want to set the radius now to be the answer to that question. So we go back to sensing, answer, and fill it in. So now let's just see what happens here. Uh, and the, let's make it show up as soon as they answer. So uh, that's set. I want to show the radius. Okay, so let's just try it out, test it out. C. So a radius, I'll say is one, and click there, and it shows up. All right, so now I want to duplicate this whole block, and we want to get the height from the person that's answering the question. So put in height, and I want to set the height to the answer to that question, and I want to show the height. Sometimes it takes a little while. Okay, there it is. And I plug that in right there. So it's the next thing in my question. So let's try it. C, one, one. Yep, showing up. All right, so now I want to do some math with the radius and the height. So I go to, I want to set the volume to, so this new volume variable is going to be set to, um, the formula that I came up with before, right? What was it? Pi r squared h, right? Pi r squared h. So I use operators. And this is plus, minus, multiply, divide. So I'm going to use plus or multiply. And what I want to do is do a couple of multiplications here. Oops, not minus. Anytime you want to get it, rid of anything, just drag it back to the metal and it's kind of like the trash can. And I'm going to multiply, what was it? Pi times R times R times H. So multiplication is associative, so it doesn't matter the way that you order that you group them in. So you may have to be careful about that. It's going to multiply these two numbers first then whatever the result is for those two numbers, multiply these two together. But it doesn't matter because of uh, the rules of math. 
but I can put them in any order I like. 3.1415 will be my approximation for pi. And then it's going to multiply times the radius, which I am using as a variable. So I'm going to drag that and plop it in there. Pi times the radius. And it's a radius squared, so I'm going to multiply times the radius again. And then multiply by the height. Drag that and drop it in there. Okay, let's see. The match up. Pi R R H S. Pi R H. Okay, so that is the formula for my volume. So it's setting that variable to this value, given what the people answered for the radius and height when we asked them. Okay, so now we want to show the volume, and that will be our result. So let's test it out. Click over here and hit C. So let's say the radius was 1, height was 1, and it gives you the volume as 3.142, which is rounded, right, because it rounds that last number uh, to the nearest 1,000th. Uh, so let's try another one, C. So radius of 2 and 3. And that's what it gives me. So you could check that uh, for yourself on the calculator, but uh, that, that is the result. Okay, um, now what you are going to do is make these little blocks for these other two, the hemisphere and the cone. So you're going to duplicate this whole block, drag it over here, and now we say, well, when H is pressed, right? And then you're going to hide all the variables again, ask for the radius, ask for the height, well actually you don't need to, right, because it doesn't use the height, so you can actually just drag that out of there, and the way you drag it is split it apart like that, and it's gone. And then you're going to modify the equation, and then you make another one, and do that for the cone, right, so that is your task, so make it so can find out the cone, or the cylinder, the hemisphere, and the cone. And good luck with that. Show your teacher what you've done and use that to find the different volumes on your project.